Is that illegal? Are you allowed to do that? I don't know. Music can make a scene go from meh to awesome. And that's not just with movies, that also goes for your D&D &D sessions. So let's get started making things awesome. First, you're gonna need an audio file, typically an MP3. Uh, there's various ways of getting this, downloading it, epidemic sounds. You can even extract audio from YouTube with like 4K video downloader. Though I think you can legally only do that with copyright free music. Once you have your file downloaded, you can then upload it into Foundry. There's a couple ways that you can do this, uh, but let's shoot over to my computer and we can get started. My preferred way of doing this is down at the bottom, you can right click the Foundry icon and then open up the folder. So once I go into here, uh, inside of data, I created a music folder. You can get even more organized with this and nest this even more. So for example, I might have an audio folder and then sound effects and music inside of that. Uh, but get as organized with it as you'd like. I'm kind of a mess. Then once it's in here, you can go over and create a playlist. We can title it whatever we want. And then you get these options. I'm gonna use my tavern playlist for this example. Uh, so you get these options here. Uh, you can have it sequential playback, shuffle, simultaneous playback or soundboard only. A quick breakdown of what each of these do. Sequential means it's going to play through your playlist in order. So however you have the songs ordered in there, that's how it's gonna go through it. You can change the way that you sort it by alphabetically or you can manually adjust that. Shuffle, it's shuffle. Simultaneous playback means that it will play all of the songs in that playlist at the same time. So this could be useful if you have a uh, out in the woods playlist and you have birds that are going to chirp and other nature sound effects, but they're all separate audio files. Just put them in one playlist, have it simultaneous playback. That's how you can use that. Uh, soundboard only means that when you have the songs on there, you no longer have the playlist button. You have to play each song manually. You can also click this little option right here to shift through them. Once you have a playlist and you wanna add a song to it, you can click that little plus icon and it takes you over here. So if you organized everything how I do, you can go to where you have it saved and let's upload Tavern Music 2. If you don't, you'll click choose file and you'll look through your computer to find where you have the file saved. I have this file just saved as Tavern Music 2 and we're gonna pull that in there. Then if we hit play, it's going to shuffle through it. I'm gonna turn that off because we don't need to listen to it. Uh, so now you might be looking at these sliders. What is what's the difference between a playlist, ambient, and interface? Playlist is all of the songs here in the playlist. This volume slider is for you and you alone. It will not adjust your player's volume. It will only adjust your volume. Um, your players will have their own option here as well. When you're playing a song and you see this option here, whenever you adjust this slider, it will also adjust your player's slider. They see the option, but it will adjust it for them as well. They can move it for themselves, but if you click it at all, it'll bump it over for them. So just keep that in mind. I typically like to start off and get everything balanced for what's comfortable for all of the players. And then I'll adjust my volume after that and they can adjust their volume. So what is then ambient? Ambient is the sound on the board here. So if you click over to the little music icon, uh, it works similar to light where you can have it affect sections of the map. I have the levels mod and so let me just do that. I also, I want it constrained by walls, but I want the volume to be hypothetically. Let me turn that off. Let me bump my ambient up a little bit. And let's say I want to use tavern music. Uh, so you can use this for campfires or anything that has a localized sound. If I then click onto the player, oops, let me turn that down just a hair. You'll hear the music's playing. If they step out of the room, you can still hear the music door shut, music turns off. And it gets louder when you walk in. So that's the way the ambient levels work. Interface, I'll be completely honest, I have no idea what that one does. I've never used it before. I'm sure it comes up somewhere. Some other things you can do is you can assign a playlist to maps. So for example, if this is my playlist, I could also just have tavern music play. You can either have it go through your playlist. And if I have it set to shuffle, whenever I open up this map, it will shuffle this playlist. I could also have it start with a specific song from that playlist. And that is how you can set up scenes to play specific songs. Again, you could do this if you had 
a dungeon and you wanted creepy crawly sounds or spooky sounds, you could have that playlist assigned to that scene. Well, that's all I had for you today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time.